Muhammad Ali once said, I am the greatest. I said that even before I knew I was. This isn't just a boast from a confident boxer. It's the testament of a man who truly believed in his own greatness. Even before the world took notice, born as Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr., Ali was more than just a boxer. He was a symbol of defiance, a beacon of hope, and an inspiration to millions. He was a professional boxer, a philanthropist, an activist, and above all, an icon. Ali's career was nothing short of spectacular, a journey that exemplifies the power of conviction and self-belief. Ali's prowess in the boxing ring was unparalleled. His lightning-fast footwork, his relentless punches, and his unyielding spirit made him one of the most formidable opponents in the history of professional boxing. In his illustrious career, Ali held the Ring Magazine heavyweight title from 1964 to 1970 and was the undisputed champion from 1974 to 1978. His record, an impressive 56 wins in 61 fights with 37 of those wins by knockout. But Ali's greatness extended far beyond the boxing ring. He was named Sportsman of the Century by Sports Illustrated and the Sports Personality of the Century by the BBC, a testament to his impact and influence on the world of sports and beyond. Ali's story, however, is not just about his victories and accolades, it's also about his courage and resilience in the face of adversity. He was a figure of racial pride for African Americans during a time of rampant discrimination and prejudice. He was an icon for counterculture, standing up against the establishment and challenging norms. He faced numerous challenges throughout his life, including being stripped of his boxing titles due to his refusal to be drafted into the military because of his religious beliefs. Even in the face of adversity, Ali stood tall, a beacon of racial pride for African Americans and an icon for counterculture. Ali's journey to greatness began in the racially segregated streets of Louisville, Kentucky. Born as Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr., the future boxing legend found solace in a sport that would eventually make him a household name. It was here at the tender age of 12 that he was introduced to the world of boxing. A stolen bicycle and a chance meeting with a police officer who suggested he channel his anger into boxing was all it took to set him on the path to greatness. Young Clay was a natural. He trained with a determination that belied his age, honed his skills, and emerged victorious time and again. His amateur career was nothing short of spectacular, earning him numerous titles and setting the stage for his future success. The pinnacle of his amateur career came in 1960, when he won a gold medal in the light heavyweight division at the Summer Olympics. Later that same year, he made his professional debut. The boxing world watched in awe as this young man, just out of his teens, took the ring by storm. His speed, agility, and power were unrivaled. His trash-talking, rhyme schemes, and predictions of knocking out opponents added a dash of entertainment to his bouts. By the end of 1963, Ali had an impressive record of 19 wins, with 15 of those wins coming by knockout. He was unstoppable, a force to be reckoned with, and his star was only beginning to rise. Ali's meteoric rise in the boxing world was just the beginning of a storied career. His name would become synonymous with the sport, and his impact would reach far beyond the confines of the boxing ring. But that's a tale for another time. For now, let's revel in the early years of a legend, a time when a young man from Louisville dared to dream big and had the courage to chase those dreams, ultimately becoming the greatest. In 1964, Cassius Clay became Muhammad Ali, marking a significant turning point in his life and career. A young man already making waves in the boxing world found himself drawn to a faith that would shape the rest of his life. His conversion to Islam was more than just a change of faith. It was a transformation of identity. Cassius Clay was no more, and in his place stood Muhammad Ali, a name that would resonate across the globe. The change was not just symbolic. As Ali, he found a conviction that would challenge the status quo and test the limits of his own courage. At the height of his career, he was called to serve in the military, a call he refused to heed. His reasons were rooted in his religious beliefs and a deep-seated opposition to the Vietnam War. But this was not a decision without consequences. His refusal to be drafted led to him being stripped of his boxing titles, a blow to any professional boxer. Yet this was not a man to be easily deterred. Ali's conviction held steady. He stood his ground, challenging the very system that sought to punish him. His refusal to bend to the will of the establishment was a display of strength, 
that reached far beyond his physical prowess in the boxing ring. Ali's decision was a testament to his character, a testament to the power of conviction. In the face of adversity, he did not waver. He did not falter. He stood tall, even as his titles were taken from him. And in doing so, he became more than a champion in the ring. He became a champion of the people, a symbol of resistance against an unjust war. His actions sparked conversations, stirred debates, and inspired countless others to question, to challenge, to stand up for what they believed in. Ali's stand against the draft turned him into a symbol of resistance and strength, far beyond the boxing ring. Even in exile, Ali's spirit remained unbroken. He was a fighter, not only in the ring, but also in life. Amidst the uproar of his draft refusal, Ali did not shy away from speaking his truth. He protested, using his platform to voice his opposition to the Vietnam War, and his communications were closely monitored by the NSA and FBI. During this period, he didn't let his boxing skills rust. He participated in an exhibition match called The Super Fight, a computerized bout against the legendary Rocky Marciano. Though it was not an official match, it kept Ali in the public eye, reminding everyone of his prowess as a boxer. And then after three and a half years, the moment everyone had been waiting for arrived. Ali made his comeback, stepping back into the ring like he'd never left. His first challenge was Joe Frazier, a formidable opponent. Their match, dubbed the fight of the century, was a spectacle to behold. Ali may have lost this battle, but he was far from defeated. He continued to fight, facing off against opponents like Jerry Quarry, Floyd Patterson, Bob Foster and Ken Norton. Each fight was a testament to Ali's dedication, his skill and his indomitable spirit. The world watched as he regained his title in a second reign as the world heavyweight champion. This period also saw the Rumble in the Jungle, a historic match against George Foreman. Ali, using his famous rope-a-dope tactic, wore Foreman down before knocking him out in the eighth round. It was a victory that shocked the world and cemented Ali's status as a boxing legend. His later career saw him take on Larry Holmes, a fight that ended in a stoppage. But even this setback did not deter Ali. He continued to fight, his spirit as strong as ever. Ali's triumphant return solidified his legacy as the greatest heavyweight boxer of all time. His journey from his exile to his comeback is a testament to his strength, both physically and mentally. It's a reminder that even when faced with adversity, Ali never backed down. He was, and always will be, the greatest. Ali's influence extended far beyond the boxing ring. Indeed, his life outside the ring was as captivating as his legendary bouts. A man of deep conviction, Ali's personal life was marked by a series of profound transformations. Known for his charm and charisma, Ali was married four times and was the proud father of nine children. His familial relationships, while complex, were a testament to his enduring capacity for love and commitment. His spiritual journey was another significant aspect of his life. Ali's religious beliefs were integral to his identity. Raised in a Christian household, he later converted to the Nation of Islam, a decision that had profound impacts on his life and career. His affiliation with the nation was controversial, but Ali was never one to shy away from controversy. Later in life, he transitioned to Sunni and Sufi Islam, demonstrating his evolving spiritual beliefs. Beyond his personal and spiritual life, Ali also made a significant impact in the world of entertainment. His larger-than-life personality was a natural fit for television, captivating audiences with his quick wit and undeniable charisma. He made numerous appearances on popular shows and even tried his hand at acting. His spoken word poetry and rap performances were a testament to his eloquence and his ability to captivate audiences. Ali's involvement in professional wrestling further showcased his versatility. His foray into wrestling was as groundbreaking as his boxing career, blurring the lines between sports and entertainment. His matches against Japanese wrestler Antonio Inoki and American football player Lyle Alzado were particularly memorable adding another chapter to his legendary career. In every aspect of his life, Ali was a trailblazer. His influence reached far beyond the confines of the boxing ring, touching the worlds of religion, entertainment and popular culture. He was not confined by the expectations of others, living his life on his own terms and constantly evolving. Ali was not just a boxer, he was a cultural icon, a symbol of resistance and a beacon of hope. 
His life outside the ring was as significant as his career within it, a testament to the complexity and depth of this extraordinary man. Even in the twilight of his career, Ali remained a fighter, not in the ring, but in the arena of life. His resilience and spirit were tested anew when he was diagnosed with Parkinson's syndrome in the early 80s. But just as he had in the boxing ring, Ali refused to back down from this new challenge. His life took a different trajectory after the diagnosis. He became a philanthropist, a humanitarian, and a political activist. He used his fame and influence to speak out on issues close to his heart, championing causes that mattered to him. From advocating for Parkinson's research to lending his voice to humanitarian causes across the globe, Ali continued to fight for justice and peace outside the ring. His earnings, a testament to his illustrious career, were often channeled into these efforts. He knew the value of giving back, of using his hard-earned wealth to make a difference in the world. In the face of declining health, Ali remained active and engaged, his spirit undiminished. But in June of 2016, the world lost a legend. Muhammad Ali passed away, leaving behind a legacy that extended far beyond his boxing career. He was more than just a champion in the ring, he was a champion of the people. A man who stood up for what he believed in, who fought for justice and equality, who used his platform to effect positive change in the world. His impact was felt far beyond the confines of the boxing world. Despite his death, Muhammad Ali's legacy lives on, inspiring generations to fight for what they believe in. His life serves as a testament to the power of conviction, the importance of standing up for one's beliefs, and the profound impact one person can have on the world. Muhammad Ali was not just a boxing legend. He was, and continues to be, a symbol of hope, resilience, and the indomitable human spirit. Muhammad Ali left an indelible mark on the world, both inside and outside the boxing ring. His fists told a story of power and precision, but it was his voice that echoed the loudest challenging norms and advocating for justice and equality. Ali was a titan in the boxing world with a professional record that boasted 61 fights, 56 wins and 37 knockouts. His bouts against legends like Sonny Liston, Joe Frazier and George Foreman have become the stuff of sporting folklore. Their narratives woven into the very fabric of boxing's rich tapestry. Yet Ali's legacy extends far beyond the confines of the ring. His refusal to be drafted into the military due to his religious beliefs and opposition to the Vietnam War marked a turning point in his career. Stripped of his titles, Ali became a beacon for counterculture, his actions sparking a global conversation about the intersection of sports, politics and faith. His life was a masterclass in resilience. After his exile from boxing, he returned stronger, reclaiming his title and engraving his name in the annals of sporting history. His bouts, particularly the rumble in the jungle and the thriller in Manila, are still talked about with reverence and awe. But Ali's fight wasn't limited to his opponents in the ring. He fought against racial injustice, religious intolerance and societal norms. He used his platform to champion the causes he believed in, leaving an impact that transcended boxing. Even in his later years, plagued by Parkinson's, Ali continued to inspire. His philanthropy, activism, and unwavering spirit made him a beloved figure worldwide. His passing in June 2016 was met with an outpouring of tributes, with the world pausing to honor a man who had spent his life fighting for what he believed in. Ali's legacy is a testament to the power of conviction. His life serves as a reminder that greatness isn't defined by the number of victories in a ring, but by the battles one is willing to fight for the betterment of humanity. Muhammad Ali was, is, and always will be the greatest. Ali's story is a testament to the power of conviction and the will to succeed. His journey from a young boy in a racially segregated environment to becoming one of the greatest sports figures of the 20th century is nothing short of inspiring. It's not just about the 61 fights, the 56 wins, or the 37 knockouts, but the strength of character and relentless spirit that defined him. We hope you've enjoyed this journey into the life of Muhammad Ali. There are countless other great personalities whose stories are yet to be told, and we're excited to share them with you. If you appreciated this video and want to hear more about the lives of those who've left their mark on the world, do give this video a like. Sharing this video with your friends and family can help keep the memory of these great individuals alive. 
and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our latest releases. As we part ways for now, let's remember the words of the man himself. Don't count the days, make the days count. Thank you for watching.